Hello, my name is Ishupal Singh. I am a customer success architect at MuleSoft. Today joining with me in this video is my colleague Mike Moore, customer success technical director. In this video, Mike and I are going to talk about deployment apologies within MuleSoft and try to answer some frequently asked questions around the same. Welcome, Mike. Thank you for joining. Hey, thanks, Ishupal. It's great to join you today. My first question to you, what does the term deployment topology mean? So with MuleSoft, this typically refers to where your MuleSoft integration applications or your APIs are deployed. These are the servers, workers, or containers that are illustrated across the bottom of this image. And these are the ones that are responsible for processing the work. And topology refers to where those environments are, how they're configured based on your use case requirements or governance policies. Deployment topologies could also include considerations of where the management plane or the control and configuration interfaces are hosted. These are the services that are shown across the top, and MuleSoft does offer alternatives to allow for a fully on-premise or GovCloud certified deployment of the management plane. However, for the majority of our customers, the hosted endpoint platform control plane is the most common. Mike, you talked about runtime plane, management plane. Can you throw some additional light on what runtime plane is? What are the different topologies that MuleSoft offers in that runtime plane? So the Mule runtime itself is a lightweight Java-based integration engine, and it's been engineered to allow deployments in the cloud, on-premise, or in hybrid topologies. MuleSoft customers can deploy their applications in MuleSoft's fully hosted environment called CloudHub, a containerized deployment running in their data center or private cloud with runtime fabric, or as a traditional server or virtual machine deployment. Each deployment model could be configured to support high availability, high performance, or high reliability. Mike, you talked about different de deployment topologies, on-premise systems, the uh, cloud up topology. What are the factors that I, as an enterprise architect or someone who is working on integration would keep in mind or should keep in mind while choosing what deployment topology is best suited for me? So first, it's important to remember that a customer is not restricted to any one topology. It is common for customers to have a cloud hub and on-premise presence, for example, when there's a desire to take advantage of application isolation or scaling and lower total operating costs by leveraging cloud hubs fully hosted environment while still supporting integration of legacy systems running inside the corporate firewall. When you think about which deployment topology is best for you, you'll want to consider several factors like what are the systems that I need to integrate with and where do they reside? Are there regulatory and organizational restrictions that may affect how systems accessed and from where? What are the resources that I have to maintain and upgrade infrastructure to support the environment? Will my applications have requirements regarding response time and latency? And finally, will my applications benefit from having independent scaling and intelligent healing for high availability? So Mike, you talked about the gravity of the system, that is where your applications or systems reside. Does that mean that if all my application, or let's say majority of my application are on-prem systems, uh, I need to go for an on-prem uh, MuleSoft deployment topology? So when you deploy using an on-prem model, it will allow you to place the APIs close to the systems that are being integrated with. And this can help reduce latency as you're not traversing data centers that could be hundreds of miles apart. And on-premise deployment's also gonna give you full control over management of the servers and network that are hosting the API and the source system, which may be required due to organizational policy or industry regulations. But that being said, many customers do find deploying applications to CloudHub to be preferable to managing on-premise infrastructure, and it becomes a natural extension of the organization's cloud strategy. That's interesting to know. Can you throw some light on why customers would opt for CloudHub to deploy their applications, uh, integration applications or APIs, as opposed to the uh, on-prem deployment topology or runtime plane? Yeah, great question. So our customers will look to CloudUp because it can provide a more flexible and reliable service than, say, a traditional on-premise mule deployment and does so without needing to manage infrastructure costs, patches, and upgrades. CloudUp provides a private hosted environment for each customer to run their applications, so you only need to provide your application, specify how much compute capacity is needed, and we take care of the rest. Each application can be scaled independently and run different runtime versions. So this allows teams to stagger their upgrades and their testing cycles across the application network. There are also several benefits around service resiliency. The deployment model supports zero downtime deployments and intelligent worker healing. So you can apply upgrades without having to take an outage. And if there's an issue with a particular worker, 
will spin up an additional one and bring traffic onto that one so that your customers are not impacted um, should there be a failure. Applications also deploy into workers which are isolated. And what this means is that you don't have to worry about one worker or process taking compute resources away from another or creating any instability in the environment. When an application is deployed to multiple workers, they're also distributed across different hardware and even data centers, which builds in protection against hardware, network, or other facility failures that you may encounter. CloudHub also promotes a lower time to resolution because with explicit permission by a customer during a support engagement, the MuleSoft support engineers can access an impaired worker to observe the behavior live versus retroactively reviewing logs or dumps, or if that server goes down entirely, not being able to grab that data at all. Okay, so now we have established that uh, we would deploy our applications on cloud up systems, even if the gravity of the system is on-prem, right? So how would uh, my cloud up application Mule Runtime connect to my backend data centers? Yeah, that's a really good question. You can really think of CloudHub as your own private network or as an extension of it. As I mentioned, we provide each customer their own private space inside of CloudHub, which is called a Virtual Private Cloud or VPC. And this acts as a private network that's isolated from any other customer. We have several ways that customers can secure access in and out of this private network. So first, customers control access into the VPC, so they can only allow access to internal systems, external systems, both or none at all, via IP-based uh, firewall controls. CloudUp can also interact with internal systems using a IPsec VPN tunnel, which is going to create a private encrypted connection to that customer's data center. The customer can then control what services on the internal network could be reached. For customers that are also using AWS or Amazon Web Services, we do support VPC peering to access resources inside of their AWS account or Direct Connect, which could provide a low latency private secure connection back to the customer's data center. So you talked about some benefits of using CloudHub, like uh, auto scaling, uh, isolation. Is this something that we can achieve in the on-prem system? If yes, is it difficult or is it even possible? Yeah, I would say first it's important to remember that MuleSoft is going to support two different deployment topologies for you to manage in your private cloud or your data center. So first we support a traditional deployment model or what we call naked mules which is where a Mule runtime is deployed to a virtual machine or server instance. We also provide a managed container service called Runtime Fabric, and this has been designed to offer the benefits of the cloud to applications that are running inside your data center. So depending on which on-prem deployment topology you're choosing, there's several factors to consider that is gonna offer pros and cons. So on-premise deployment is a basic deployment, and this is where the, the Java runtime is deployed to a virtual machine or server. And in this deployment model, multiple applications are deployed into a common container and bound to the same runtime version. So this model can make the most efficient use of the compute resources that are available in the server because each application is sharing a common environment with other applications and they're sharing resources across all of the applications that are deployed onto the server. It's also gonna give you full control of the underlying virtual machine. So you can access mounted file systems, you can set JVM parameters for advanced tuning and access resources on the class path. And while this deployment model provides benefits and raw density of the applications deployed to it, it does have some drawbacks compared to runtime fabric. So in a traditional deployment model, you can scale deployment of a traditional server but it requires adding an additional JVM or VM with all the applications deployed into it. There's not a way to scale a single application. And just as you can't scale out a single application, because the apps are sharing that common JVM, they can't be guaranteed specific CPU or memory resources. So resource contention across the applications could become an issue in this deployment model. Also, because the applications are shared in a same deployment, they're bound to the same runtime version. And what this means is that applications must be compatible with all the patches or upgrades that are planned to be applied to that server. So this could lead to longer testing cycles during your upgrade planning. And the servers are also associated with only a single environment within the AnyPoint platform. So it's not really feasible to have a single server represent test and development and staging, for example, for non-production. Runtime Fabric, on the other hand, is a container of service, and we provide that as a software appliance for deploying into your data center or your private cloud environment. The primary goal for Runtime Fabric 
is to bring the benefits of a cloud deployment model to your use cases that may need to run on your private infrastructure. In Runtime Fabric, each Mule application is deployed as its own container. An application can have multiple instances, and they're deployed across multiple servers for resiliency in the event of a hardware failure. Each application is also deployed on a pre-built container that's provided by MuleSoft, which has monthly security and bug fixes. And this allows for each application to update independently. It also supports zero downtime deployments. In Runtime Fabric, because applications can independently scale, you can add more compute resources to that one application, or you can add additional workers for processing message for that particular application. Runtime Fabric also has the ability to monitor worker health and redeploy applications if an issue is detected. And I talked about worker scale up and scale out. Each application is guaranteed an amount of compute with the option to consume unused capacity if desired. And that's called bursting um, inside of Runtime Fabric. But because there's a guaranteed amount of compute, there's not an issue with resource contention that you might see in a traditional server deployment model. Also, because the applications are deployed in isolated containers and they're given guaranteed compute capacity, it's important to remember that the raw density, as far as the number of Mule applications that could be deployed, may be lower than a traditional Mule server deployment. In addition, you're also going to need additional infrastructure to run the various services required to support traffic routing, worker scaling, bursting, and zero downtime deployments. So the hardware footprint for Runtime Fabric is going to be a bit larger than a traditional server deployment model. But a Runtime Fabric can also be shared across multiple environments or even lines of business or business groups within the AnyPoint platform. And because each application is in an isolated container, it's not uncommon for you to have multiple pre-production environments sharing the same underlying runtime fabric infrastructure. And this does allow you to have more efficiency in the use of your compute resources and underlying infrastructure. Lastly, it's important to remember that runtime fabric is provided as a software appliance with pre-built containers, and they're made available in the AnyPoint Runtime Manager for deployment. So like with CloudHub, this means that customers can't change the runtime configuration beyond a worker sizing. Customers are gonna receive monthly patches to the runtime fabric appliance, as well as the container images, which can be applied by the customer, but they cannot be altered. So that's an important distinction between a traditional server deployment model where you have more control over the underlying JVM. You talked about reliability, high availability, right? How these two factors influence which deployment topology I should go for? Before that, can you elaborate a little more on what these two terms means, like reliability and high availability, and how they are related to the deployment topologies? Sure. So when I say high availability, I'm referring to making sure that an API is still going to be accessible if there happens to be a failure in a specific server or co other component of the infrastructure. And this can be achieved across all of the deployment models. In CloudHub and Runtime Fabric, applications can independently scale out to support high availability. As I mentioned, they scale to different worker instances. So in Runtime Fabric, a worker instance is balanced across underlying server nodes to protect against a hardware failure taking all of the instances of an application or API offline. In CloudHub, there's additional protections against each worker instance because each one is deployed in a separate data center, which adds another layer of protection against power, connectivity, or physical location impacts. On-premise traditional deployments support high availability by standing up multiple instances of the runtime as a server group or cluster and positioning them behind a load balancer. So if one server fails, the load balancer can then route traffic to one or more healthy instances of the server environment. High reliability deployments provide additional protection against message loss. So for runtime fabric and traditional deployments, an application instance can leverage the underlying Hazelcast capability to provide shared memory clustering, which replicates the state of the messages that are being processed. So in the event that a server fails or a node is lost, other nodes in the cluster can continue to process a message to completion. CloudHub is a bit different here because it doesn't include shared memory infrastructure, but it does support persistent queues. So when you design your application to leverage persistent queues, an application deployed to CloudHub can support high reliability patterns by being able to reconsume messages off the queue in the event of a failure. Thank you, Mike. This really helped me understand more about the deployment topologies. I am sure this would uh, help the audience, the first time users and the customers who are onboarding MuleSoft to understand more about the deployment topologies. Mm -hmm.